Hello people, today I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to Halloween Kills. Um, the 2018 Halloween I thought was passable. I thought I, I had a fun time with it. It wasn't perfect. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to see where they're going to go with this. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that this is probably, I, I'm hearing great things about this. Um, when it comes, I know that they're screening pretty well. Um, and the first two teasers are pretty solid. So I'm excited to see what makes this so special and so different from the 28 film, um, 2018 film. If it really is that impressive, or if it's just all um, BS rumors. So yeah, let's just start this trailer in three, two, one. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, I got to take a lesson out of it. My grandmother was right. The boogeyman was real. It's over. We can't hurt anyone ever again. Hmm. Somebody in there? Michael Myers is alive. Hmm. Stop! You had a knife in your stomach. You and Allison should not have to keep running. Evil <laughs> dies tonight. Yes. I'm not just gonna sit and watch another innocent person die. If you track Michael's victims, that's a straight line to Michael's childhood home. Oh, they're bringing back the boyfriend. Oh, God. What do we do? We fight. Jeez. Hunt him down. <laughs> Michael Myers is flesh and blood. But a man couldn't have survived that fire. The more he kills, the more he transcends. Run! Go home now! He's the essence of evil. Why are they bringing him back? Do it. Do it! You want your mask? Come and get it! They're showing a little too much here. Um, here's my reaction. <laughs> um, there's some great, well, it really wasn't scary, but the, the, it looks like there's some really solid, um, Michael Myers stuff in this movie. Um, it, um, there's great visuals. Um, it looks very straightforward, and I think this trailer showed a little too much, to be completely honest. I'm not the biggest fan that they're bringing back that really annoying boyfriend character from the first movie. I didn't expect them to bring them back. I didn't want him to bring him back, and here he is. He's back. So, um, maybe they'll redeem him. I, I don't know. Um, I hope the granddaughter isn't as much as an idiot. Um, but, yeah, um, yeah, I think personally, if I had a judge from this, um, it looks just about the same quality wise as the 2018 movie, which I don't hate the 2018 movie. It's very watchable. I have a fun time with it. And I'm not expecting this to be no, from judging by this trailer, I'm not, from I was hearing about the movie, like, oh, it's so good. It just, personally, from my see of the trailer, it looks just as consistently the same as the, 2018 movie, which isn't a bad thing because, like I said, I like that movie. Um, it's like I, I'd probably give out the um, the 2018 movie like a seven, seven point five. So um, yeah, I was really expecting something special here due to like how good the reactions were, and did it disappoint? 
a tad, but yet it was still a great trailer for Halloween. Yes, it did show too much. It had it showed a lot of the stuff. How much? How much of the stuff are, have they already shown? I don't know. Did this give away the whole movie? I don't know. We still have to see the thing. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my re trailer reaction to Halloween Kills. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm Sorry, camera cut out. So yeah. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.